terms of uh, mesothelioma, uh, you know, of the pleura, um, we would consider a candidate for surgery if the uh, mesothelioma is confined to a single hemithorax, meaning that is either on the right side of the chest or on the left side of the chest, but we wouldn't do that if the mesothelioma is in both, uh, you know, surrounding both lungs, for example or uh, if it is uh, in the chest and in the abdomen. It, it would need to be a, you know, very selected cases, extremely young patients, that kind of thing. And that would be a multidisciplinary conversation with Dr. Muller that we would entertain such an, an aggressive uh, uh, surgical approach. Uh, and once we determine that the, uh, that the cancer is confined to the hemithorax, then you know, we need to do some what we call uh, a staging imaging studies. We uh, typically do a PET CT to make sure that there is no evidence of cancer anywhere else. Then we have to make sure that uh, we don't have like the uh, leaf nodes in the middle of the chest on the other side that are involved. Uh, we uh, need to make sure that it's not invading through the ribs in multiple ribs that we will need to basically remove a big portion of the rib cage to, to get the tumor out or that it is not invading like the major vessels in the chest, such as like the aorta and the cava and that kind of thing, that we, we would consider that a, too aggressive of an approach uh, for this disease. Um, uh, so, so, you know, there are several studies that we need to do uh, in terms of the, you know, this resection. In the past, uh, it was advocated to remove the entire lung, the lining of the heart that is called the pericardium uh, and the diaphragm. Uh, but uh, nowadays uh, we favor just to remove the lining and keep the lung intact, which is a more difficult, uh, you know, operation to do, uh, to you know, spare the lung. Uh, and then we always need to do what we call like pulmonary function tests and kind of have an idea of whether a patient could lose the entire lung if it arrived to that. That you know, there, there were like tumors that we couldn't just peel off the lung, but we had to remove the lung. Um, so those are the, the main uh, things that we, we look for. You know, um, of course, this is a, a, a very, um, you know, um, aggressive in a way uh, um, surgical procedure. And the younger the patient, the better it is. Typically, um, I, I tend to shy away uh, uh, from doing this surgery in the chest uh, in patients that are older than 75 years old unless, again, exceptionally uh, excellent performance status because it is, it is a hard surgery to recover from. Mm-hmm.